How to use FreshBooks for beginners. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you a complete in-depth tutorial on how you can use FreshBooks for your businesses. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to freshbooks.com and over here, all you need to do is simply sign up on their website. So as you can see, they have a free 14 day trial going on at the moment. So you can just simply sign up on their website by clicking on the try it for free button at the top right here or at the middle right here. So just simply go ahead and click on the button. And once you've clicked on the button, the website will look something like this. And over here, all you have to do is enter in your email and a password and then just simply click on get started or you can just sign up with either Apple or with Google and then just simply check this box over here and click on get started. That is basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up on this website and I will catch you guys in a little bit. So then once you've signed up on this website, they will ask you a couple of questions to set up your business. For example, they're asking you, what does your business do? How would you describe your business? What do you use to build your customers, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just go ahead and fill this out. So what does your business do? So for me, my business basically falls in the media category. So I'm going to select market, communication and media. And how would you describe your business? Let's just say it's a new business, but it's full time focus or uh, yeah, that's it. That seems accurate. What do you use to build your customers? So we have pen and paper the old way. We have spreadsheets and word documents or I don't use anything right now and another counting system. So let's just say I don't use anything right now. And then all you have to do is select the currency and then enter in the amount of revenue estimate. So let's just say 50,000. And once you've entered in your details, then you can just simply click on continue. Or if you don't want to like answer all these questions, you can just simply click on skip to main content. But let's just click on continue. After that, you have to like enter in your name, your last name, your phone number, your mobile phone number, the company name, the address, the town, the zip code, the state and the country and uh, just the basic stuff guys. So go ahead and fill this out and I'm also going to fill this out and I will see you guys in a little bit in the next part of this video. So when you've entered in all the details of your company, then you will be asked, who do you work with? How many team members do you have? So I have about two to four team members. And the next thing that you can do is just simply invite your team members if you want. But if you don't want, you can just simply click on and continue. And now they're saying that you're all set. And then they're going to ask you that how you got to know them. So I'm going to click on from a friend, save and continue and wait for it to load. And here you go. As you can see, this is our dashboard and this is how the website looks like. So over here, as you can see, we've set up our company details. The next thing that we can do is add our clients, then add in the items and services and then simply send an invoice. So all you have to do is add a client, click on this option right here and then simply click on add a client. Or if you already have a list of clients, you can just simply import them from this button over here and you will have to choose that file that you have that's saved on your computer or mobile. But I don't have a, a list of clients. I'm just simply going to click on add a client. And over here, the first thing that you need to do is add the first name and just simply add in the email address of that client. Then just simply add in the phone number, then simply add the mobile phone number. And then just simply add in the business phone number if they have. If you don't, you can just leave all this phone. Now you just simply get the general idea. All you have to do is fill out this form. But I think this is enough. And you can just simply click on save and continue. And there we go. Now that we've added a client, this is our client over here. The next thing that you want to do is create a product or service. So go back to your dashboard and click on add items and services and click on add item or services. And over here, as you can see, we have no items created at the moment. So let's just simply go ahead and create an item. So to create an item, all you have to do is click on create new. And over here, you will have two options, an item or an in service. So simply select item and over here, enter the name of that item then the description, then the price of that item. And you can even track the inventory of that item, but that is totally up to you. You can leave this option blank. And after that, you just simply have to click on save. So let me go ahead and enter in the name of that item. Let's just say that it's a book and let's just enter in the description that it's, it's a book. Then just simply add in the price of that particular product. So let's just say it's going for a 5,000 rupees. That's a good book. And then the sales is, is 20% tax. 
that's it apply taxes and then just simply click on track inventory and over here in stock let's just say there's 50 in stock and then just simply click on save now as you can see we've created an item and we have 50 items in stock and it's going for about 5000 with a 20 percent tax so as you can see we've created an item now let's just go ahead and create a service the process is exactly the same but to be safe let me just show you how it's basically done so click on create new and then just simply select service so over in service all you have to do is enter in the name of your service that you are offering and then down below add a description of that service and then just simply add in the fee so let's just say that you are a consultant so go ahead and add in consultant and then just simply add in the description of that consultant and now just simply enter in the price of that service so let's just say 10,000 and then just select billable because this is a billable service and after that all you have to do is simply click on save so as you can see we have created a service as well as an item so let's just recap our steps so we created our business we've created a client and now we've created a service and an item so the next step is how you create an invoice so simply click on dashboard and once you're on dashboard simply click on send an invoice and over here if you don't want to create an invoice and if you want to send a test invoice simply click on send a test invoice and it will automatically send a pre-made invoice to your client but if you do want to know how you create an invoice simply click on this button over here and over here this is how our invoice will look like so we have a lot of things going on over here so first things first can you change the theme of this invoice and let me tell you yes you can so over here on the right side and the second option you will see you have the option to customize invoice styles so simply click on invoice styles and over here you will have three different types of invoices so you have simple you have modern and you have the classic so i'm going to simply choose the classic option because i feel like it's more suitable and down below you can choose a theme of the color so i'm going to choose blue because i like blue color and then down below you can change the font so we have modern helvetica or we want the classic gramond so simply choose the font that you like i will choose the gramond and then just simply click on done now you have a customized invoice now let's just simply show you how it's basically done so over here add a client simply add in your client let's just simply add the client that we had and over here you have the invoice number and the date of issue and the due date now you can change both of these dates so click on due date and let's just say seven days after this invoice has been issued and then down below you can add the reference number if you have one if you don't want to it's totally fine and then all you have to do is simply add an item or a service now how you do that is by going down below in the description and clicking on add a line so click on add a line and over here all you have to do is select the service or the item that the client has requested so let's just select the item and as you can see our price has been added and down below is our total so you can add a discount if you want but if not it's totally fine and then you can just simply request a payment or add a payment schedule so that this payment will be paid on a tight schedule and then down below you have some notes and terms that if you want to add them to let your client know what are your terms and some of the notes and another thing that I wanted to show you guys is online payments so basically over here you have the option of accepting online payments if you want to add one then just simply click on here and just simply connect your stripe account or whatever type of payment service that you use and then that's simply it now you know how to create an invoice and now all you have to do is simply click on save and that is basically it now as you can see the process is very very simple it's very very easy and i really enjoyed it so creating an invoice is really really easy on this it's one of the easiest ones that i find i highly recommend fresh books if you want to use it for your business it's easy it's user friendly and it is responsive as well so that is it for this video if you have any questions related to this website or this video please let me know in the comment sections down below and i will make sure to get back to you as soon as possible and having said that if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification guys and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care